fan of instant coffee. She's a vulgar woman who murdered her lover when I was 15 and forced me to take the blame. When I was released back to her custody, she stood by as another one of her boyfriends molested me. After she threw me out, I made myself drink Fortnum's Earl Grey as a way to forget about my past and see more upper crust. <laughs> what did Jimmy Brennan do to you? Well, as I told you, he lived down the hall. And I was a child pretending to be an adult, desperate to recreate myself. Jimmy was like a big brother, a few years older than I. And they always watched over me. So when a fuse blew one day in my apartment, I didn't think twice about following him down to the basement to help him fix it. He kisses me. And I say, no, we're just friends. And I try to pull away. And he has this look on his face like a monster. He punches me, and I raise my arms to cover my face to mask my shame and my confusion because I had worked so hard. I did everything to change myself, and I, I knew he could still see the victim. And he pushes my face into the cold concrete, and he whispers, relax, honey. Over and over and over. All I could do was focus on the pilot light underneath the water heater and wait for him to be done. And the day you were delivered, they put you in my arms and you heard my voice and you looked straight in my eyes. And I felt this calm. There was nothing of Jimmy and you. You were from me and no one else. And we were happy. Why did you, um... He started stalking me, so we, uh... We ran from apartment to apartment until there was nowhere else to go. And then this miracle happened. A scholarship to Paris. Painful as it was, I knew it was the only way I could protect us both. When I took you to sister, Rebecca, I told her that Jimmy might come for you. And she vowed to keep you away from him at any cost. <laughs> 